So with our empty sets, again, we don't do a lot here. Uh, we'll bring one of those guys in motion and just run our quarterback right up the middle. Um, here, we're going to motion this guy and run a, run a 32G with him. We can motion either way and run Liz and Rip. If our quarterback's audibling, he just sees where they have the least amount of numbers, and he sends the guy in motion. We'll run, we'll run jet sweep um, towards the side that the defense is outnumbered. But again, this is going to be a 32G, a guard trap. I'm sorry, a guard trap right. So we bring our, our guy in motion. And we just sneak up a guard trap right up the middle there. We should get an end zone view of that. Just gives teams something else to prepare for. Really important, though, is when I'm changing these formations is I don't change the offensive line rules. I don't want to confuse our offensive line at all. All right, now we're looking at our tubby package, and I want to explain this. I'm going to go forward a little bit. And what we do on our tubby package is this is just our imbalance, our uh, short yardage here. Here's our tight end. This is our left tackle, our left tackle that's flopped over. Our split end lines up. You can't see him. Our split end is lined up right there. This is our left guard. And then our right tackle lines up in his normal spot. And we'll run, we'll run our, our ISO plays here. And if the defense over shifts, um, we can run trap, veer, or we have a little boot pass, and we take our split in out into the corner. It's been a really good short yardage play for us. So we just call this tubby right and tubby left, and we run the 33 veer. Quarterback must have felt like they overloaded, and he audibled out of it. Okay, again, this is our tubby package still. So tight end. Well, that's right half. Tight ends be in front of him. Left tackle flopped over, right tackle, right guard. Our split ends right here. And we run the tackle trap. And our linemen do the exact same rule. That's our right tackle that pulls. He pulls normally on our tackle trap left. And we get into the end zone. And here it is from the end zone view. Again, I never want to change the rules. So it's the same tackle that pulls on tackle trap left uh, for, the, for that there's our last tubby play I'm going to show you. And this is just the straight ISO. This is where I tell our kids, this is where we, we try to show them that we've been in the weight room longer than them. And what we tell our lineman rules, our lineman rules on this, is basically on gap, everybody on gap it. And if you have nobody on you, nobody in the gap, then you double team. So like this guy here, he has nobody on him. He has nobody in the gap, so he's going to double team. Same thing here. He has nobody on him, nobody in the gap, so he's going to double team. So we should get two guys here double teaming, two guys here double teaming, and these two halfbacks, this is our left half who came over, they're going to go to a second level and take care of these. How do they know which hole to go in? The, the tailback's uh, whispering to them, and we've got an audible that tells them which hole to, uh, to go into. And so we go right at them. We get two double teams. We get two halfbacks leading up a linebacker. It's a short yardage thing. Uh, we just want our, you want our two or three yards and get our first down. So that's our tubby package where we kind of overload things. Um, along the, the uh, same lines is we have our two tight end sets. And again, our quarterback audibles out of this. We just give them some couple of basic reads. This is our belly sweep with the two tight ends. Really what we're trying to do is get teams to shift, the even front teams, the four-man fronts. We're trying to see if they'll, if they'll get a, a, a lucky or Ringo call based on one of our tight ends, and then we just go the other way. In fact, let me show you that. You can see that this team did make that call because our normal kid that plays tight end lined up here, and so they called the lucky call. So you see a guy in the weak gap. Weak gap. You see this guy reduced down. You see a three shade there. So they did call their strength towards our normal tight end. So we could have came back at them on the weak side, but we still pick up some good yards here with our two tight end set. Here's another two tight end set, and our quarterback's just audibling. Um, you know what, here, he wasn't audibling based on the strength call. We were going to audible away from their really good uh, player, the D1. So we run the, run the belly option there. 